Well, hello everyone. How are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iPhone 11 on the iOS 17.5.1. How is it performing? And the main thing that we are going to focus on is the battery life because I know everyone is pissed at the battery life of ios 17.5.1 on all iphones my name is jay you are watching tech hype if you are new here consider hitting that subscribe button because i keep on making these type of videos for you guys and you don't have to miss these let's get right into today's video and review the iphone 11 on the ios 17.5.1 by the way i keep on making these type of videos for you guys so if you do happen to own an iphone 11 you know what to do hit that subscribe button right now because i will be installing the ios 18 on my iphone 11 as well and i will be reviewing iphone 11 on the ios 18 as well because ios 18 is going to be a really big software and you don't have to risk your device by installing ios 18 so i'll do it for you guys now let's talk about ios 17.5.1 so i have been using ios 17.5.1 on my iphone 11 for the past couple of days and in my experience the one number one thing that is really bad on this device is the battery life but that is not only exclusive to iphone 11 because battery life on ios 17.5.1 on all of the iphones that i am owning right now iphone 14 pro iphone 10 iphone 12 or oh, i mean iphone 10r iphone 12 iphone 12 pro iphone 13 all of these devices are having really bad battery life on ios 17.5.1 so ios 17.5.1 is really bad in terms of battery life if you are planning on installing ios 17.5.1 on your iphone 11 wait for some time i am pretty sure ios 17.5.2 will be rolling out really soon so look out for that and install that update because ios 17.5.1 is really bad in terms of battery life and i definitely do not recommend anyone to install that update right now in terms of performance the performance of iphone 11 on ios 17.5.1 is pretty decent it is not the best but at the same time it is not uh, lagging or it is not too slow do let me know down in comments below do you guys want me to do a benchmark test every time i update my iphones because to be honest i don't really think so benchmarks translate to real life performance that's why i do not really believe a lot on numbers what i believe in is real life usage experience that's what i share with you guys in terms of bugs that is the best thing about ios 17.5.1 on, a, on my iPhone 11, I have not really experienced any major or any really irritating bug as such in the past couple of days of uh, my usage on iOS 17.5.1. The experience has been pretty good. The only thing that is bad is the battery life. Other than that, everything seems to be pretty good and pretty decent on iPhone 11. But in conclusion, do I recommend you guys to install this update on your iPhone? I don't really think so you should because if you are on iOS 17.5 then you should probably stay on it for some time. Gaming performance has not been tested by me right now. I do not really play a lot of games and especially not on my iPhone. Any of my iPhones actually and definitely not on my iPhone 11. But if you do want me to play games and tell you guys what is my experience on using games and how my device is performing and is it heating up because some of you guys over on my twitter at the rate tech hyped if you want to talk to me you can hit me up on my twitter or comment down below i am always active and i do respond to every one of you guys so if you have any query or doubt related to ios or iphones feel free to ask me and uh, drop it down below that's pretty much it for today's quick little episode thank you so much for watching this video till the end this is me jay aka tech hyped and i am signing off i will be coming up with more dope content of ios 17 and ios 18 on iphone 11 so you don't have to miss that peace out and have a great day everyone